Alright, so now that you've completed all your pieces um, and you've developed this assembly file, next step is to put your train together. First thing I'm going to do is lock your train body. If you right click on it, it'll say fix. And now you've got a uh, symbol on here that says it's fixed, it will not move. We're going to use two different constraints for this project. Uh, the first one being a fasten constraint. I click on fasten. I'm going to zoom in to this surface here. You'll notice it's not the top of the peg, but the back side of the peg. Clicking on that and clicking on this top hole. Again, that same location. It goes into my part, so I can simply switch it here. It's also upside down, so I can click this little icon and rotate it correctly. And now this piece will not move. On the back side of my train, I've got the hitch magnet and hitch peg. I'm going to use that same constraint. I'm going to grab this surface. You can see that I'm grabbing this front, the center of this uh, circle here. Snap it to that hole. Again, it's going the wrong way, so I can simply switch it. Click my green check. This piece here, I want this inside edge. Right, you can see it's grabbing that inside edge center to match with this outside edge. Right, and now that can't move. Switch back to my isometric, take a look at things. Uh, the stack, I'm going to grab the bottom edge here with the bottom of this circle. Now that can't move. Now taking a look at the wheels. The wheels we're going to use a different constraint because we want the wheels to be able to rotate. Next to that fasten constraint is called a revolute constraint. If I click on that. The key to the wheels is we want the, the pegs here to face out to the outside edges of the train. That means I want this flat side, that center, to snap to this surface of the train. Get my green check. By using that constraint, this wheel will spin. I'll do that to all four of my wheels. Again, revolute mate or constraint that surface to the surface. Hit my green check. Revolute constraint, this surface, again the flat side of it, should be constrained to the train. It's going the wrong way, so I can again simply switch it. Move my linkage arm out of the way here. Revolute constraint, this, this flat surface here to this surface here. Again, it's going the wrong way, so I'm simply going to switch it. And so now I've got all four wheels attached. Again, you'll notice the pegs are facing out away from the train. I'm going to now insert my axle pegs, but it looks like I forgot to insert them. So I'm going to insert axle peg. And I need four of these. I'm going to use that same constraint, that revolute mate trick to the axle pegs is we need not this top ring but that bottom ring right we've got two rings I need that bottom ring to snap to this surface or the center of the circle of the wheel I'm gonna work my way around doing that to all four bottom ring to this surface bottom ring to that surface. 
going the wrong way, so I can again switch it. Last one here. Again, this bottom ring. That surface there. Try that again. Bottom ring. That surface there. So you can see I've got that little lip. That's what I should see. I don't want to see your axle peg going into your wheel. All right, go back to my isometrics, see what I've got. Uh, the next step is this linkage arm. This linkage arm, we've got one on each side, should fit snugly over the peg on each wheel. To do that, again, I'm gonna use that Revolute constraint. I'm grabbing this peg, or this circle, and putting it at the bottom of the peg. You'll see what it did there. It is flush across the front. Now on the other side of it, I'm gonna use this side. And snap it to that corresponding spot on the other wheel. Now I've attached both sides and so now when I go to click on it and try to drag it the wheels should move together I'll do the same to the other side again Revolute Mate I want this side here this opening to fit flush to the bottom of this peg this opening to fit flush to the bottom of this side. Again, if I look at it, I'm gonna close this out. I look at it from my isometric view, I'll look, take a look on the left side here. These wheels should move together. Then our last step for the train assembly is simply to, you can either use Fasten or Revolute Mate. Right? I want these pegs, again, this bottom edge, to snap inside of these little holes. Bottom edge, inside of these little holes. So that is our train assembly. When I look at yours, uh, again, the wheels, or this bar, linkage arm, should rotate your wheels. I will go through uh, the track assembly as well as placing the train then on the track in another video. Thank you.